Any ink on the uh, on the arms or anything? Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good was Eliza West. How many touches oh, do you have? Eliza yeah. West. Oh, probably. Uh, she dominated. Probably, probably twenty, I'd say. Stop, Kate Hawk. I've tweet. I've messaged on Instagram. Updated everyone about three quarter time updates. Just to see AFLW and AFL um, kicking goals, quite literally, they're, they're both on fire. Looks like the girls are going to be flag favourites. Melbourne Fan TV, we're here at the AFLW game. Uh, Melbourne v Richmond. D's got over the line. Harry, mate, first of all, good to be back. Absolutely. In the scorching heat yep. of uh, the middle of summer, pretty much. Um, standout performer tonight. It's, it's hard to see from ground level, we yeah, know. It's but tough one, but it'd probably be the usual suspects in Hanks and Hoare and um, all that. Probably probably been our best players tonight. Um, Taylor Harris crashed a few packs and um, Lisa Bannon, she's going to be a very good footballer like her. She's only 19 and she's doing the stuff that she is at the moment at her age. She's going to be something big. Yeah. Taylor ha Harris was uh, ruthless at times, crashing packs and all that. Um, now we haven't seen you since the last fan TV, whenever that may have been. Giants game. Uh, yeah, perhaps. And there's a bit of a body change. Any ink on the uh, on the arms yeah, or anything? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's the uh, 2021 Premier's tattoo. When's Looking good. Gun? When's the next one, mate? When's the next you? one? Oh, hopefully, hopefully. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Two this year. Yeah, yeah, two. Yep. Keep my fingers crossed for for another couple of premiership tattoos. Very nice. Just keep mate. them coming. Yep. Very nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Very nice. And um, just something you look forward to about AFLW? Oh, just the uh, just a real family friendly environment here. Like um, obviously it's great for kids and all that. And um, obviously the beer prices are a lot better here. <laughs> Six dollars, can't go wrong with that. Full strength as well. Yeah, yeah. But, but they ran out of turps, so uh, that's uh, that's one negative. And they've got to do something about the fly situation here. Absolutely, yeah. Punt yeah. road need a some sort of like a uh, uh, whole <laughs> helicopter airdrop of uh, Aragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, that, that's that. pretty funny. Um, yeah, no, awesome. So thank you very much, Harry, and uh, we'll see you next time, mate. See you around. Good stuff, well done. So, all right, Melbourne Fan TV here with another very passionate um, Melbourne supporter, Katrina. Katrina, thoughts on today's game? A really good um, convincing win, I thought. It, uh, it got a bit sluggish at times. I thought it was a bit of a slow start with the first quarter, but second quarter they showed their dominance. It completely looked like a completely different side. Great to see the young girls coming through and really showing their strength as well. Definitely. At 13 to nothing at approximately like quarter time. Yeah. Any nerves at that at that stage? There were a few. Um, I, um, I, I was thinking that maybe Richmond just were facing a really ordinary St Kilda side last week but they are vastly improved from last week definitely yeah and obviously next week I don't know who we're playing but are we're we St Kilda pride round okay yep, yep. Um, um, at Casey so get there yep. yep can I get a pre-tip uh Melbourne Melbourne by hopefully 80 points oh, beautiful. <laughs> you, you, you'll be comfortable in your seat then I'm sure definitely yeah. they had a um the Taylor Harris shirt, the one that was banned. Um, but um, Taylor's parents actually saw us uh, putting the banner together at the start of the game today. Uh, they liked it. And also Taylor, which she saw me when I was holding up the banner as well. She, she saw me was, uh, wearing the t-shirt and gave me a big smile as well. Oh, so. A bit of acknowledgement, that's what Absolutely. we like. Definitely. I ordered this a couple of years ago because she, of course, played for Melbourne yep. in the exhibition games. I thought, red and blue, yeah. Absolutely, but yeah, she's yep. back at the D, she's home. Yeah, exactly, it's and an awesome And how design. good was Eliza West? How many touches oh, do you have? Eliza reckon? West, oh, yeah. probably, uh, she dominated. probably, probably 20, I'd say. She, she like dominated, oh, yeah, she's, yeah. she's got to be a gun. Awesome, all right, well, thank you very much, thank Katrina. You. It's awesome having you on and looking forward to our many thank times you. this season. Thank you, <laughs> all the best. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the time is here, everybody. Duxie's back in 2022. Duxy, first of all, I want to say you look awesome. He looks awesome. He looks like a true Melbourne fan. The same with Harry. Um, the shirt. Let's mention the shirt first. Yeah, uh, it's Caden McDonald's. I don't want to be. Don't want to play ones. You don't. Uh, twos. I want to play twos. Yeah, that's <laughs> but that's what the shirt says. But just got to love the Caden McDonald. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and now we spoke to Harry before. Bit of ink. Yeah. Bit of ink, a bit maybe more than ink than a uh, bit more ink than Harry. How good is that looking? How much uh, time did that take? Uh, two and a half. <laughs> Didn't cry. <laughs> what, 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 Didn't what were you doing for the two and a half? Re watching the game? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to AFL talk. Um, AFLW. AFLW talk, sorry. Sorry, don't, don't at me for that. Um, 
Obviously, you're a bit happy. Yep. Yeah. D's got up. They're two and zero. Good yep. start so far to the season. Yeah, it's a great start to the. <laughs> who, who, who can stop Kate Hall? That's oh. all I can say. Kate Hall. Oh, who done can it. stop Kate Hall? I've tweet. I've messaged on Instagram. Updated everyone about three quarter time updates. Mentioned Kate Hall. Mentioned the uh, Taylor Harris as well. And they've gone on to kick more goals and kill the game. Oh, yeah. Well, that's all I, all, I, all I can say. Mate, they're unstoppable at the moment. Um, obviously, sort of like a D's 2 and 0 sort of vibe. Do you reckon they're going to get sort of that 9 and 0 sort of vibe going, like similar to last year in the men's? Yeah, but I, I don't know. Don't know who, who could beat, beat us. No one. No one can stop us. But the bye can. The bye, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's legit the only hit. COVID. <laughs> we don't have that. <laughs> exactly. Can we get a little joke? Just a, just a little joke you got up your sleeve. Knock, knock. Who's there? Duxy. Duxy woohoo. <laughs> that's the whole joke. You, you just flew it. Let's say Duxy who, <laughs> and then it's Duxy Wu. But anyway, and obviously next week Duxy Pride Round. Uh, just want to say a few words on that, mate. Yeah, uh, Melbourne v St Kilda, Casey Stadium, oh, Casey Fields, I should say, because St Casey Stadium is a basketball arena. <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't want to go there for footy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three days later. <laughs> the very next evening. <laughs> yeah, so it's at Casey Fields, St Kilda, Bayfield W, Pride Round. I believe it's on Saturday next week. Saturday next week it is, and uh, you'll be there? Yes. Yep. Everyone that's uh, watching this video, go down, get a picture with Duxies. <laughs> big fan, big, big cheese, cheese squad boys. So, um, yeah, we thank you very much, Duxie, for coming on, mate. And um, we're looking forward to seeing you for a few more AFLW games, but also mainly the men's season, yep. because this is a big season for the Melbourne Footy Club, and I'll tell you what, they're going to do it for you, mate. Go days! <laughs>